Everybody, it's Gail the happy stamper I wanted to share with you some Christmas gifts that I've been making today and these are glass blocks that you can pick up at any craft store I get mine at Walmart or Michaels although I find the ones at Walmart are much harder to get this sticker off but I typically use they're called crafty block I saved one of the labels and you can find these really anywhere and I just got some on sale so I've made some projects today for my nieces and my sisters um, that live out in Chicago and I thought I'd share them with you I've got this one all lit up and if you can see I don't know if the glass hatching is going to show up but it has my niece's name it says Chelsea across the front and her room is very shabby chic and all things frilly and girly. So I made this one for her and I thought that that would be really cute in her room. So this is one I made and I used lots of bling on the flower and some boa feathers and trim and some really pretty pink and black shabby paper in the background and um, just added some more beads down there. So let me just set this one to the side so you can see it lit up. These other ones are not lit up and um, I'm waiting for my husband to get home because he's getting um, the lights for me right now. And these, this size blocks, these are seven by seven, they take the 35 count string of lights Okay, so then this one, it has my sister's name, it says Karen, and I made a flower, there's some pretty rhinestones. I did kind of a black, brown, um, you know, crystal kind of a theme. She really likes sort of the native thing, and um, so that was kind of the colors that I went with for hers. And the glass etching that I use I get that also at Michael's, and this can be kind of pricey, so save a, your coupons. It's called Armor Etch, but a little goes a long way. So this is a little bottle, but it, it does a lot. I've done many of these for gifts. So use your coupons for the Armor Etch if you're interested in this. And this one I did kind of a zebra print in the background, and again, her name Karen is on the front, some flowers, beads. Um, and then a cute bow. So these will have some lights in them shortly as well. And my last one is for my other niece. This one I haven't done my bow on yet, but it says Alexa across the front. And I got this pretty butterfly and the bling from Terry Berry, who I'm sure you all know here on YouTube. And then I have some Prima that she gave me and a pretty flower, some beads. And then I'm going to cover this one as well in white, um, oh, I want to say taffeta. It's not taffeta. I can't think of what it is right off the top of my head. I'm tired. Uh, but this will also have white lights in it as well. And it says Alexa, and I etched that. And then just used a punch on some vanilla colored cardstock. And this is using the background paper from the Mariposa pack, which was from a few years ago when everybody was really going crazy for it. So um, that is going to be her Christmas gift. Everybody loves getting personalized gifts, and I love to give it. So those are my altered glass blocks for you. I hope the lights from this one don't glare too much, but it's so pretty when it's all lit up. And I got this idea from the lovely Miss Janie, who's the typical scrapbooker on YouTube. Hey, girly. Um, she had made one for me. She's so sweet for my birthday a couple of years ago. So I thought I'm going to give it a whirl. I made one for another good friend, Miss Jen Jen. Hello, honey. She's Candle Dumb Machine. And Miss Janie is the typical scrapbooker on YouTube, if I didn't mention that. 
um, but these make great gifts. They're personalized and they're just beautiful when they're lit up. So if you've got any questions, just leave me a message. I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your Sunday. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.